What's going on everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson and welcome to the season finale of Stomp Box Saturday with the one, the only, the pedal that has held my heart since Nam of last winter, the Chase Bliss Audio Tonal Recall Analog Delay. I can't think of a better way to end off this third season of Stomp Box Saturday than with this pedal. It has held my attention for as long as I would have been introduced to it back when I first played a prototype at the NAMM show, and it was glorious then, and it is just as glorious now. I was pretty certain that this thing was going to be a hit, and I certainly was right. It is an absolute hit. And it is everything you could ever want in an analog delay. It does simple, it does wacky, and there are tons of options, just like every other Chase Bliss pedal. So let's dive in and check it out. You have six knobs, three switches on the top of the pedal, and then two foot switches and a three-way switch on the bottom of the pedal. Now you have your standard delay parameters like your delay time, your feedback and regeneration, and the tone and mix of your repeats, but this also adds in a really amazing modulation that just is lush and beautiful and just really adds something to the overall tone of the delay, which, mind you, comes from those magical reissue 3005 Bucket Brigade delay chips that we all know from... Uh, What's that pedal called? Uh, my memory just isn't working right now. But it's, you know, that kind of chip. That's what's getting at. Then we have the two foot switches, which are your bypass and your tap tempo. Yep, an analog delay with tap tempo. Awesome. Of course, there's only about 550 milliseconds on tap, but it's more than enough to get a lot of the jobs that you need to get done, done. And of course, like with Chase Bliss pedals of previous years, you can of course save two different presets and then have the center position on the three-way toggle on the bottom be whatever the knobs are doing at that moment in time. And we'll stick with that for the remainder of this video. Now of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the dip switches that are on the back of the tonal recall, which allow for tons of different options of ramping, different parameters that can be adjusted in real time, Sometimes these pedals can be mind-bogglingly complex, but I can't think of a better way than to combine analog and digital together to bring something beautiful to the world. It is the best of both worlds, in my opinion, and we will take a look at some of my favorite sounds that I've conjured up with the Tonal Recall right now. <laughs> This is the sound that I like to use when it comes to leads. Now, it's very normal, so it's not exactly something that you would see most people using Chase Bliss pedals use, but I think that's the beauty of it. You can get those normal sounds and those wacky sounds all in the same pedal. Now, I think if you break down the tonal recall to just focus on the delay, you'll see that it is a very user-friendly pedal. Now, I typically just like to keep it, again, with the subdivisions on that quarter note so that I can tap in a longer or shorter delay time, and it reflects the tempo. Now, it was a little on the long side, so let's go with something a little quicker. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit faster. And 
that's the way that I like to use it. It's not too dark, it's just a little bit so that it just decays out naturally, there's not a hefty amount of mix, and not too much regeneration so we don't go into self-oscillation. We can hold down the tap tempo switch to do that and it is so much fun. But anyway, normal. Okay, I get that, sounds great. But I think we should try playing around with some of these dip switches and coming up with something that, well, doesn't sound so normal. So let's do that right now, shall we? <laughs> Well, Chase Bliss is known for having some ramping features in their pedals, and the Tonal Recall is the pedal that makes me really want to delve in and explore what those ramping features are, because I'm able to come up with sounds like this. What do I call it? I call it, go home guitar, you're drunk. It just seemed most appropriate to me. I think it sounds strange, and I think it works perfectly for what I'm trying to show you guys. I am ramping the depth of the modulation, the time of the delay, and I'm just having a grand old time with it. Kind of makes everything I play into it come out a little, well, a little more worse for wear, but needless to say, it's a lot of fun. And the cool thing is, by using this sound and then using the mix knob, I can go from getting it extreme till, you know, 100% wet, and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, I can't even understand what pitches I'm playing at that point. But if I just dial back in some of that dry mix... You get that craziness underneath. And dialing it back further gets a little bit more subtle so that you can play those kind of staccato funky lines that I was doing. Works pretty well and it definitely fits in that kind of old school funk with the analog synth kind of vibe. Like it. It's a lot of fun. Now we could go really crazy, of course, and s turn that mix up all the way, put on some uh, high gain, and well. understand a thing I was playing. I don't really care. It was having some fun. Now let's uh, go ahead and get some of our original pitch in there and uh, have a little bit more fun. everybody closing out season three of Stompbox Saturday the Chase Bliss tonal recall classic sounds otherworldly sounds in an analog delay what more could you want I'm a huge analog delay fan I love them simple I love them complex I love them lush I love them wacky anything that I can use with a clean sound or a dirty sound that tone just it gives you a feeling makes you want to play and I think that's the best way to describe it it's a tone that makes you want to play it makes you feel at home it makes you feel like anything you put into it it's gonna give you back and then some and that's exactly what Chase Bliss pedals do it seems like every time I plug into my warp vinyl even if I just use it as a standard chorus I love it every 
day, and I love it more and more. And the tonal recall is exactly the same. Every time I play it, I feel like I get more out of it. And every time I play with it, I s explore more. And I feel like I am inspired. And that's something that I've always wanted to stress with you guys on this show, is that these pedals are meant to inspire us, to make music. Because without music, these things are nothing more than a bunch of wires and circuit boards just sitting there on a shelf. And it's up to us to take them off that shelf, plug into them, and make beautiful music for this sad world. But hey, that's just how I feel about this. I want to know what you guys think. How did you enjoy this season? Did you enjoy the Tonal Recall as much as I did? If so, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next season, my friends, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you the greatest of tone and the happiest of stompings. I will see you all next year.